The following is a production of Learfield Sports. As is so often the case in the Rose Bowl, it went down to the final couple of minutes again. Unfortunately for the Badgers, they came up six points short. Stanford defeated Wisconsin in the 99th Rose Bowl game 20 to 14. We'll hear from some of the players as well as head coach slash athletics director Barry Alvarez and we'll give you a taste of some of the sights and sounds in Southern California in late December, early January. That's all coming up on the Badger Sports Report. Monte Ball, the tailback. Phillips takes, hands to Ball, off the right side to the 10, Ball to the 5, Ball dies to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin. Monte Ball is in, and the Badgers are on the board. Phillips in the gun, Monte Ball to the left of the quarterback, Doe motions right, comes back to the left. Phillips takes the snap, rolling left, looking, sets, throws, it is caught by Jordan Frederick, touchdown Wisconsin! Phillips to Frederick and the Badgers are back in it! It's pretty fun having that be your first touchdown catch in the Rose Bowl, but it's a spoiler, obviously losing the game. Um, I mean, it felt great, kind of hesitated for a second, made, making sure I was in, but... Um, I mean, I, feel, I would feel a lot happier right now if we won the game, but I mean, it, it happens, but in a personal level, it was a good thing. Ball high step to the five, touchdown Wisconsin. Off by Taylor, 40, 45, 50. Fires picked off, Portland quick through, 40, breaks a tackle, touchdown James White. The Wisconsin Badgers are headed to Pasadena. There it is, Ryan Day. In zone, Abraderas, he has it. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And it's intercepted by Shelton Johnson. The Badger Sports Report is brought to you by your Badgerland Chevy dealers, Coca Cola, Charter Communications, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Hyundai, Adidas, Zimbrick Buick GMC, and UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Your truck, it's your office, your toolbox, your lunchroom. It's how you get your work done. Keep your business moving with Wisconsin's number one volume GMC dealer, Zimbert GMC East and West. Football, Wi Fi, wings. Now that's a business plan. Glad you like it. Question is, how are you liking charter business? Well, our internet's a lot more powerful than with phone company DSL. It can actually run all this now. Plus, we've got reliable phone and we're saving like crazy. Another everyday victory. Let me see your end zone dance. No, I, I don't dance. All right, let's just do a flying chest bump and call it a day. To save over 25% versus the phone company and get up to a $500 gift card, call now. Pioneers, pathfinders, trailblazers. Every day we explore the biological frontier in search of a cure for cancer. Inventing treatments, establishing protocols, bettering humankind. We are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center. Wisconsin's only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. UW Health. Remarkable. Back at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, and Barry, I know it's, a, it's an awfully tough one for, for you and your kids, but man, the effort, no one could fault that. No, I, I can't, and I, I told them that. I was proud of the way they competed. Uh, I thought in the last possession, again, we have the ball and a chance to win the game. 
Uh, Kurt's been running a two-minute offense pretty well. You know, I just thought maybe it was a team of destiny that we were going to we were going to find a way to win that. We were beaten by a very good team, but uh, I have no qualms about the way our guys competed. You know, where Mike and I are watching the game upstairs, and we're thinking this is that, as you would call it, a coal miner game in yeah. that second half, wasn't it? Well, that's, you know, we talked before the game about between the 40s, you know, once we get to the 35, we're, we're in four-down territory. And, you know, we had some question. You know, we had a discussion at midfield. It's fourth and one. I just didn't feel comfortable, and we were – and we, we had them backed up, and it was a field position game. I figure if we hold them there, we get a good punt from the 10. We hold them again, which we've been holding them. Keep getting the ball right around midfield or the 40-yard line. We're in pretty good shape. Um, you know, so that was my thinking on that. But uh, it was close to, going, to trying to, to go for it. You know, that the start of the game, uh, you, you, on the one hand, you're thinking, wow, I wonder if, if Wisconsin is too fired up or whatever. But on the other hand, Stanford kids made some big plays they in did. those receptions. They threw it down the field and, 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 and some great receptions, good play calling. Uh, the one we were in position on a couple of them, uh, we just their, their guy went up and made the play, and we didn't get our hands on it. But, uh, you know, they went right down the field, and our guys adjusted. From then on, it was uh, it was a, the type of game that I anticipated. It was our defense played well, their defense played well. Both offenses were struggling some. Barry, you've gotten a, you've gotten a chance to get a little closer to some of these players here in the last few weeks. Man, you mentioned that you really you, you weren't that close to them for obvious reasons, but as you yeah. as you were with them these last few weeks, I would imagine this you is, like what you saw. Yeah, this is really a great group of kids, and I thanked them after the game, and so many of them came up and thanked me, you know, for for. Uh, for coaching them this month and, and, and making things normal. Um, I thought our staff staff did a nice job. Those guys were very professional. They hung in there. and um, I mean, we, we prepared well. That, that team was prepared today, you know, but uh, we just came up a little short. And you look ahead, though, there's a lot of excitement about this program, a lot of reason to be. You've got a lot of guys coming back. You've got Coach Anderson, who obviously yeah. you know pretty well, so uh, things, are, things aren't all bad here no, for Badger you football, know, right? Just another Rose Bowl, you know, but uh, you like to win these. You know, we've been competitive in all of them. Um, we got a, a large, large group of juniors coming back. Hopefully, you know, we don't lose many, uh, if, if we lose any, uh, to the NFL draft. But uh, they have a chance to be a very good team. Yeah, it's, it's, it's as you mentioned, it's so hard to get here. I mean, to get here three years in a row, I know these, the guys are, are disappointed. That's That goes without saying. But. Just to get here, there's a lot yeah. of schools oh, that yeah. they'd love to be in your shoes, right? You, now. You, you take a look around some of these places, schools like Michigan State. Have, you know, it's been a long time since they've been here. Back in the in the 80s with, with George Perlis, and and uh, you know, I don't think Kirk Ferentz has coached. I mean, coached a team out here, and Kirk's had some BCS teams, but it's it's hard to get here, and to get here three years in a row says something about your program. Did you let yourself have a little bit of fun being a coach again for the last few weeks? I've it's had been a busy. This, this month has been very very busy. Um, but it, it really rejuvenated me. It was, it was fun for me to get to know the kids and the coaches and, and, and get your wheels turning again about how you're going to manage some things. And, and, uh, and, and while you do that, go through a couple searches. You know, <laughs> so um, it was busy, hectic, but uh, uh, it all worked out and, and, uh, other than the final drive. But, uh, you know, it, it was fun. I appreciate it, Barry. Thanks right. much. All right. Barry Alvarez, head coach, athletics director of the Wisconsin Badgers. Stay with us. More to come as the Badger Sports Report continues. Where others saw lumber, we recognized a treasure. Where others saw the night, we chose the stars. Where others saw pieces, we unlocked the puzzle that could mean the end of paralysis and cancer. Since 1848, thinkers and achievers at Wisconsin have fearlessly sought ideas that transform the world. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on. You know, I think the seniors did a really good job of just pulling guys back together and making sure that uh, they were ready to continue to keep going. Knew it was going to be a four-quarter game. We knew it was going to be a four-quarter game going into it. Um, so, you know, we, we felt good about or felt okay about being um, down 14 and just that we would be able to come back. 
we're able to run the ball well in, the, in like the second quarter and in the first half. Um, obviously, we were stymied a little bit in the second half, but uh, you know, it just was a matter of us going out and, and playing the way that we wanted to and the way that we needed to. And we we did that in the first half and didn't in the second. It feels eerily similar, I guess I would say. You know, just a close loss, um, same type of situation, one score here or there, a play here or there. Um, you know, it's, it seems like Groundhog's Day. Two plays that um, gave them the opportunity to score. You know, and um, as soon as our offense would score, you know, we would be able to go out there and stop them. You know, we just had to settle down as a defense, and they threw all their tricks and gadgets out at the beginning of the first quarter. You know, and after that, they were just doing doing the basic stuff that we had seen um, on film throughout um, bowl prep. You know, so we just had to settle down and just play like we've been playing all year. A couple plays here and there could have made the difference in the game, you know, and we just weren't able to make as many plays as they did. Like when the play is there, you have to capitalize, and I wasn't able to capitalize on mine. And um, the other interception, I don't know who it was for, but we were just, able, just weren't able to capitalize on it, and that could have been a difference in the game. It's great to get to the Rose Bowl. It's, it's an accomplishment to get here three times, but, you know, we want to get that elusive victory. I think we got a real good squad coming back and everything like that. I mean, who knows what could happen. You know, it's, it's very emotional in this locker room, and obviously, and just, I think looking back on the season in the future, five, 10, 15 years from now, I was just gonna remember the adversity. And, you know, I mean, Coach Alvarez mentioned it all, how, like our group of seniors and how they came out. And then Coach Alvarez, you know, coming out and, and coaching us in bowl prep and throughout this game. And, you know, it's, it, it's tough right now, but I think we had a special season. Yeah. It's, uh, I think guys are emotionally spent. It's been such a, uh, you know, so many close games and um, some off-field things, and it's every, everybody's been uh, been through a lot, but held it together. And uh, it's a testament to the type of guys we have. It would have been more special to be able to send the players out. Um, you know, coaches can come and go, but um, these guys are like our brothers. So um, to have to have them, their memory be three straight Rose Bowl losses is pretty tough to swallow. But they did so many great things while they were here. We still got back to the Rose Bowl. That's our ultimate goal. That's what it always is. So you know, we felt like we could erase everything that happened during the season. But we fell short, kind of been the story of our life this year. It just comes down to making plays, um, winning the tight ones. Whenever, you know, when it gets close like that, we got to be able to answer. Um, we haven't been able to this year, and we're going to work on that in the offseason. No one on this team's ever looked around. No one on this team's ever flinched. Uh, we just went out there. We knew we had, you know, good plays that were going to work. Uh, we called them, you know, we got an answer, and, you know, we were able to pull it within 17 14, but, you know, we weren't able to overcome it. You know, we've, 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 we've faced this before, adversity, and, uh, you know, you want to remember this game uh, with a win, so we just kept the energy high, but uh, once again, fell short. We had this game. The offense had many opportunities to capitalize on, on opportunities, and we didn't. Uh, um, and then that, that, that's what hurts the most is because the game was in our hands plenty of times to go down to score when it was 14 to 17. Because I'm a senior, uh, because, you know, last year losing, my sophomore year losing, I was like, okay, you have another opportunity to play in another one next year if we make it, and same for last year. But uh, now I'm, I'm done, so it stings a little more, but uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing this team here again next year. Are you ready? Yep. Click the links. Oh, sweet Lisa, you're so fine, like a very fine wine. Girl, I need you in my life. Will you be my wife? Charter Internet has more bandwidth to support all your devices. Experience the power of Charter on the nation's fastest Internet. Ah, the workout is over. Time to recover, refuel, and re-energize. Recent studies suggest that one drink can help muscles recover faster than other leading sports drinks. Delicious, nutritious chocolate milk. With its powerful package of protein, potassium, calcium, and six other essential nutrients, shouldn't chocolate milk be your choice? Got chocolate milk? Don't tell mom. Don't tell mom! 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 Don't tell mom? Yeah. The best stories you'll ever tell start with don't tell. Don't tell dad. Start yours in the new Santa Fe from Hyundai. What light does gets in your head. 
can't avoid it. You can't escape it. Because what light does, weighs on you. Do what light does in the 7.9 ounce Audi Zero Five Star. From the numerous media obligations, to the parade floats, to a whole lot of beef. It was a hectic several days for the Wisconsin Badgers as they made their third straight trip to Pasadena. Let's give you an idea of what this past week was like. Lowry's is one of the traditions of the Rose Bowl. And, you know, this is one of the things that the kids always talk about. Anytime you hear about the Rose Bowl, you hear about Lowry's, you hear about Disneyland. It's a special night for all of us. Thanksgiving at the Allen household is pretty serious. so. I don't know if these chumps out here on the football team can compare with my family. I was eating uh, breakfast with Dallas Wellen this morning. He was telling me about how he stayed up late last night and expanded his stomach. And then he was eating like, I was looking at him, he was eating literally five pancakes at breakfast and talking about how it was a warm up. I just had one. I, uh, I'm a pretty slow eater, so I, by the time I was done, they had dessert on the table. So I just had one. I just had one. Um, you know, I leave the, the heavy eating to some of those bigger guys. Just one. Uh, one, one filled me up pretty good, so just one. At seven. I want to do eight because that's what I heard a Stanford player did, so a little disappointment I didn't get that mark, but seven's pretty good. I, I like the tie. It's, it's a two-hour uh, event, but uh, the whole time for the meal is shorter than that. I think it's around a half hour that they start serving. You just try to eat faster. That's tough, though. I was eating pretty fast. Well, Connor, Connor Udelhoven here. He had four steaks, and uh, he was kind of disappointed because he wanted a fifth. So, I mean, he, he's probably our top dog for right now, and I think uh, if we make it here next year, I think he, he'll be able to uh, contend with Dallas one of these days. So, Athleticism, wits, strength, conditioning, all skills it takes to be a good ping pong player. The Rose Bowl provides each team with a game room in their hotel which many see as a nice way to unwind, but it also helps keep the competitive juices flowing. Nice to be able to relax, not worry about obviously the game or the other distractions, kind of bond as a team. There's a lot of things down there that you can uh, obviously do things together and have a good time. So, I mean, it's fun to have that there. It's an extra bonus and we love it, so. They definitely take care of us here at the Rose Bowl. Um, you know, it makes it that much more fun when you, when you do have free time, you can get down there with everybody. Yeah, the camaraderie has been great. Guys are always down there hanging out and, and playing games and such. And, it's something we've never had before, and guys are really enjoying it. Ping pong's been a hit in there, so I'd never seen the game before until I got to college, uh, and I had uh, probably picked up more more in a week than Mike had in his entire life. And right now, I'm challenging him. Uh, he's backing down. He's pretty he's pretty scared of, of me. I'm coming up on him. You know, it's unfortunate for Chris. He can't win very many games. You try to help him out. You try to you know take him on your wing. He's like a little brother to me. Uh, you just try to guide him in the right direction, and you know, hopefully, he'll learn. Chris has a you know high amount of confidence in his game. You know I think that has something to do with the type of paddles they gave us here in uh, Los Angeles. I'm used to a softer, grippier paddle in which I have never been beaten. I think we're going to have to have another challenge when we get back to Wisconsin to see who the really best ping pong player is. We have a pretty solid uh, team. Bo's pretty good. Mike Taylor's pretty good. Stave's pretty good. I destroyed uh, Beagle the other day. Uh, I know Joel Stave. He's a pretty good ping pong player. You might want to talk to him. Just. You know, he just has it all. He has all the tools. He's got a backhand, forehand. He's he's an overall good player. He's got the hair. It, most of it's the hair. I think he's got the tennis player hair, so that, that adds some dimensions to his game. I, I, I can't return his serves because I'm just busy looking at the flow, and I can't, uh, I can't catch the ball. I've been playing ping pong for much longer than I've had long hair, but, um, you know, maybe. Maybe it helps. If you'd been here in February, you would have just seen axles and iron, uh, T iron out on the ground. It takes about two months to do the sub part of the float. Once the engine is put together, once the iron rod is put together and all the parts, we have welders that come in to do all of the meticulous um, rod work. And they are true artists. If you look as you look, everything that's supposed to be an animal looks like an animal. They do that, once that's done, we screen it with regular screen for a window. Once that process is done, we, do it, we spray it with a machine called cocooning. 
and that fills in the little holes. Once that's done, we get to paint it. And it's kind of like a paint by numbers. We paint for colors, and when that is done, I sit down and we figure out what flowers are going where and what seeds and how we're going to put it all together. While planning for each parade begins two weeks after the last one, the decorating doesn't start until the day after Christmas. We started on the 26th. There was not one thing except dust on this float the morning of the 26th. To finish these enormous floats by New Year's Day, the float builders rely on the efforts of over 600 volunteers. This is the Miracle Grow float, so we have volunteers from Miracle Grow. We have volunteers from Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, uh, schools that ha come in um, for service hours and all that kind of stuff. People that just have been doing it over and over again for years and years come over and they do it too. Kaiser employees actually ground 2,000 pounds of rice and sifted them. I had two-year-olds sifting for the float. They came in and spent the day with us and did all the sifting to get it ready for this. While millions of viewers catch the parade on television each year, the float builders will be the first to tell you that their splendor cannot be captured by a camera. Well, first of all, most people don't realize how big they are. That when I have people come from other countries or other states, their first impression is it doesn't realize how big it is. And then the colors, the colors and the smell of the coconut. Everybody wants to go, can I eat this coconut? I said, no, I keep trying, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> but they miss the smell and the, the vibrant colors that just are 3D. You just have no idea unless you see it up close what exactly is there. And the people in the morning on, on the parade route that come by and see all of these floats, they come by and look at them and they can't believe all of the stuff that's on there. And they, they go through and they say, is that that? <laughs> what is that? Once they've come out the first time, they will want to come back and see it again. This is my 28th year and I'm still just amazed at how much enjoyment people get out of it. They'll just go, oh, it's so beautiful. And I'm thinking, wow, I'm so tired of it. <laughs> but there, And then they, they lift my spirit by saying, this is awesome. So it really, just the thrill of watching it go down the road. For the Badger Sports Report, I'm Ashley Hearn. These are the heavyweights, the visionaries, the A-listers. These are the people inventing the technologies and establishing the protocols for treatments that don't yet exist. This is who you turn to when no one else seems to have the answer. These are the world-class physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals at UW Health and the University of Wisconsin. UW Health. Remarkable. Chevy's year-end event is almost over. Now is the time to get more savings, more bonus cash, and more great deals on every new Chevy. Like up to $6,000 in total value savings on a new Chevy Silverado. Lease a 2013 Chevy Equinox for just $199 per month or Chevy Cruze for only $149 per month lease. But you've got to act fast. Chevy's year-end event and soon. Don't miss your chance to drive home a new Chevy. See your local Badgerland Chevy dealer today. What light does, gets in your head. You can't avoid it. You can't escape it. Because what light does, weighs on you. Do what light does in the 7.9 ounce Audi Zero Five Star. The buzzer beaters. The high school tournaments, the conference titles, truly the court of champions. Parker Street Productions LLC has acquired pieces of the basketball court used at the Cole Center from 1998 until 2008, now making them available to you. 61 teams walked off this court with a trophy. Now you can take home your own trophy, a piece of history. Log on to courtofchampions.com today. The Badger Sports Report is brought to you by your Badgerland Chevy dealers, Coca-Cola, Charter Communications, 
the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board, Hyundai, Adidas, Zimbrick Buick GMC, and UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. For this week's Great Dane Great Question of the Week, we'll pose the question to some of the players and we ask them, what's it been like playing for a Hall of Fame coach named Barry Alvarez? Oh, I mean, Coach Alvarez is the same guy on the sideline that he is in the, in the media room. You know, he's, he's got so much confidence and I think that, you know, even though he's been, he'd been gone for seven years or whatever, he's still related to the players really well and, and we all had so much faith in him. Man, it was a great experience. How, uh, how many people in the world can say that they played for a Hall of Fame coach? Um, not too many. It was an honor to play for him. Uh, you know, every day was definitely, you know, for me it was an awesome experience. Uh, I wish we could, uh, you know, kept uh, Coach Alvarez's streak going, kind of hurt or whatever, but just playing for him. Um, in, in the short month, I learned so much from just playing with him. The Great Dane has four locations in Madison on the east side of town, downtown, Hilldale, as well as Fitchburg, the Hilldale location, by the way. This is where Coach Ryan has his radio show as we get back to the basketball mode most Monday nights throughout the course of the Wisconsin basketball season. We meet at the Great Dane Hilldale Monday nights at 7 o'clock. That'll do it for this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Speaking of hoops, we turn our attention back to Coach Ryan's team next week as the first week of Big Ten basketball is underway. Thanks for watching. When you buy Wisconsin dairy products, your hard-earned dollar brings you more than just the quality and great taste you know and love. It supports the dairy industry, which in turn reinvests that money back into your community, resulting in better public services, abundant recreation opportunities, and a beautiful place to call home. In all, dairy contributes $26.5 billion to Wisconsin's economy and eventually comes back to benefit you. To learn more, visit youtube.com slash dairyimpactwisconsin. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the crowning achievement in college athletics. Awarded annually to the nation's best overall program in each division, both women's and men's sports. Celebrating its 20th anniversary, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup proudly honors exceptional student athletes and their schools. To follow your favorite team, visit thedirectorscup.com. Look for standings regularly in USA Today or follow the Learfield Sports Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Where others saw limits, we found a key to feeding a hungry planet. Where others thought big, we proved the power of small. Where others saw a frozen desert, we discovered a lens into the heart of the universe. Since 1848, thinkers and achievers at Wisconsin have fearlessly sought ideas that transform the world. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on.